Alright, hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Faria. It's a tactical, I guess, grid-based TCG, which is kind of interesting. I It's been on my radar for years, but I'm an old Magic the Gathering. I'm not going to say addict, but I played a lot of it back when I was a kid. And it was a huge time sink and a huge money sink for me, so I've always been a little... little, like, uh... Uh, wary of picking up like actual CCGs or anything like that. Yeah, you know, I tried playing a little bit of Hearthstone, and then it's like, yeah, I'm gonna have to grind forever to get this uh, and get further than this. I tried a little bit of Eternal. I tried a bunch, and uh, recently, I, I I guess uh, one of my press contacts at Versus Evil is like, yo, uh, new expansion coming out for Faria. Any interest? And I'm like, yes, no. And then the, then I was like looking into it, and it's like, oh, it has co-op. Okay, so that's a plus. Anyway, I feel like I'm supposed to be doing something here. Oh, build here. Okay, I see. Well, I'm just going to charge straight forward and we'll figure it out. Shell is hovering, trying to... She wants to teach me how to play. Uh, what will my player name be? Let's be obvious. Let, let's go easy. <laughs> let's go with the easy option. Okay, so... Before I can even create, create my account, they're having me uh, do a tutorial. Or I'm creating my account... As I do the tutorial. That's interesting and different. Okay, so I got a prairie yak. I've also got some land I can pop down. Okay. Costs this much fairy to play. Deals this much damage in fights. This much damage to kill. Got it. You need to summon that yak. But first, land. What? No. Why? Alright, whatever. Summon it there. I want to see if I can <laughs> lose the tutorial. Creatures must wait one, one turn before attacking. Alright. That's a cute little yak. Can I have a yak deck? Just pure yak, nothing else? Probably not. Uh, Shell is emphatically nodding at me that yes, you can in fact... Uh, you can in fact have a pure yak deck, nothing else. Alright, attack that. I... I'm not entirely sure if I'm excited about the prospects of having a pure yak deck, but it amuses me. Okay, so we have a Steamforge Enforcer. That's a big sucker. Are, are we going? Okay, there's like a little bit of a time delay, and she had no HP. Well, alright, that's fine. Alright, so mission reward, Farm Boy and Felkadive. Dive. And complete these missions to unlock your powers. Balhar! All right. Now I assume these are gonna be well. I guess we just start with that. Creatures can gather extra faria from wells. Okay, so I assume if I have a creature next to this, we get faria. Makes sense. Let's see. This guy really wants to control all four. Good for him, I guess. Arm boy, this is all you're good for. <laughs> he looks so optimistic about life. Okay, so, oh, unspent fairy is saved for the next turn. Well, that's nice. That means I can more or less pump out the Steamforge Enforcer really early on then. They're just giving me big guys, aren't they? But yes. Okay. Uh, there we go. Do I just... I wonder how much you can bank. I'm just gonna toss that down. I almost kind of wish there was a skip tutorial option and just, like, throw me to the wolves. Please don't attack me. I'm not sure if you get the social contract of, of competitive TCGs, Mr. Savage Horseman. <laughs> don't you dare steal a feria. Ah. Uh, okay. I'm just gonna get these. Toss the yak there. He's probably gonna be making his way for me soon-ish. I figure the more income we can have on the next round, the better. We'll see. Well, I guess this guy can't kill my yak anyway. The yak's in danger. I do also have the walking fortress that I can just, like, pop down. Deal one damage to a creature. Well, I guess that's an easy solution. Might as well go kill that guy. And I don't have enough for the walking fortress. 
This guy's a pain, but I'm just going to wait. Uh, let's see. I can't move that further. So, yeah, I'm just going to wait. We'll see what this guy does. Worst comes to he hits me or the yak or... Oh, he's going for the farm boy. Oh, uh, no. Okay, so we get another Steam Forge Enforcer. I've got a hell of a lot of... Okay. I'm just going to drop down the wa walking fortress there. Uh... I guess I'll kill that guy. I probably should have moved on to his land and attacked him first, but I wasn't thinking. I'm just going to do that. Give him no avenues to attack Farm Boy, though he's going to attack Farm Boy. Or me. Oh, well, you know, worse things have happened. Let's see, and I can't even summon the Prairie Yak. I could start beating on this guy, but honestly, I should just get in there and start wailing on him. I didn't even really need to summon the Steam Forge Enforcer. Huh. So there's no way to skip putting land down. I guess it makes sense. Oh, farm boy. Whatever will I do without you? Oh, right. Win. Well, your youthful optimism served you well up until you got murdered because I didn't feel like getting you out of the way. Well, anyway, we get another Steam Forge Enforcer, and... Oh, puzzle. Is Shell just... <laughs> Shell is just sitting behind me, nodding emphatically whenever I, like, vaguely glance in her direction. Okay. Win this puzzle. So, creatures with haste can attack automatically. Okay. Kind of reminds me of the uh, puzzle mode from from Gwent, or I guess Thronebreaker. I never actually did finish playing that game, but honestly, eh. Okay, more puzzles. I like the puzzle mode. It, I it seems like this isn't just going to be like a competitive TCG. It's like, oh yeah, here's some just like random things that you can do as well. I like that sort of thing. So we have a freedom fighter. Build lands next to an enemy land if you have a creature next to it. gonna do that put the freedom fighter there yeah all of the uh i i, I don't know i was like should i gather fair yet the answer is no. no 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 just hit her in the face okay so we get a grizzly and a Venduran forge i like the art for this i i like all the background work and stuff too it's it's a nice touch and it looks like there's at least a fair bit of different biomes that we've got available here as well Okay, my turn. Farm boy! Do your thing. Just stand there and look pretty. Force let him play more powerful cards. So, some cards require special lands to be played. Grizzly requires one forest. Forest creatures must be summoned on forests. Oh, and lo it looks like putting down the force tile makes it so I can only put one thing down this turn. Whenever you create tree lands, it ooh, oh that's fun. Each turn you can make either one special land or two neutral lands. Yep. So that guy gets scarier as you go along. Golem requires five forests. I mean, it's a... That's a... Chunky... Golem. Otherwise, I could go for the extra mana. Is that whenever you create one? Okay, so I don't have to worry about creating more. Honestly, I think I'm just going to move this way and get the uh, Stygian Warrior instead. Because I'd rather have that fairy again, I think, than forests. Because most of my deck is not filled with uh, forests to begin with. Okay, do we get the macer? Yeah, it looks like we can only get the macer. That's fine. Guess I'll move that a little bit closer. 
And then I'm probably just going to bum rush him on the next round. Okay, if you want to know what a card, do card does, mouse over it. Well, unfortunately, we don't have a whole lot of special effects anyway. Create a uh, forest at random. Yeah, so this guy is, gets more dangerous as you go along. Makes sense. Can I get Falcon Dive? The answer is no. But I can get Vendurin Force. Okay. So I'm going to pop that down. She does four. He does four. And it doesn't look like I can move through, unfortunately. Well, I can make the Venduran Force there. We'll get the extra area. Now, can you deck yourself in this game? I actually don't know about that one. Okay, give a creature to two. <laughs> Buff up the farm boy. I could do that. It's only got three though, but none of all of my other guys are are tankier anyway. We do have the Tiki caretaker, so I could make the I could make the Cylind Warrior tougher. Oh, can my dudes only move one? Okay, well let's do that. Do buff the warrior? Yeah. I'm just going to uh, plow through what I can. That's you know I don't have enough for the for anybody else. Oh, but I do have two lands. I'm gonna give myself more avenues for attack, I guess, because I number him fairly substantially here. I'm hoping I can get that Falcon Dive and just take her out. Just a matter of when. Ugh, really looks like I need a lot more forest here. Uh, let's see, so we can get another Enforcer, move him closer. I'll just plonk that down, and I guess I gotta get some forests up in here. I guess I'll just start putting them around the base. I'll have the Tiki care Caretaker work on that. Uh, let's see. Come on, give me Falcon Dive so I can snipe that one. Well, I can't snipe it anymore, unfortunately. Now, I'm just going to kill the warrior. We're going to campfire him so he can't get gibbed. And i got to keep chunking down forests here. Because I've only got four. Oh, I'm going to put a forest up here if he doesn't stop me. And then, then I can just start dropping Therian Golems on him. If I don't kill him in the next round. Nope. Well, it's a possibility. Okay, my turn. So, Steamforge Enforcer kills that guy. He moves forward, hits him. We don't kill him yet. But I can drop the Therian Enforcer right on him. Or, <coughs> Therian Golem, sorry. I'm getting the Steamforge Enforcer crossed. Do get another Yeah, let's just let's just drop everything. Yeah, so can you deck yourself? It looks like I have an unlimited number of cards, but Oh, 19. So maybe you do shuffle your discard pile in. This enemy has taunt. Creatures next to taunting enemies must stay and fight. Oh! Okay, so you don't have to kill a taunting enemy beforehand. You just have to wreck the taunter first. Well, Let's play along, and then kill him. Okay. Uh, let's see, Rebel Slinger, deal two damage to your opponent, and another Tiki Caretaker. All right, uh, let's see, do I have any more juice? I have a smidge of juice. Ryzen. You're an adequate processor, but you have problems with certain games. Not this one though, which is good. You know, I'm normally a big fan of, like, super fantasy, uh, super fantasy, like, just kind of cosmic backgrounds. But bring back the forest. Those forests were good. Okay, so give a creature 
two four. That's good. Well, usual farm boy strat supply. So what is that? Cartographer. Last words. Create a land at random. Oh, neat. Oh, and oh no! Create a bunch of lands at random. Oh, that's sneaky. And mean. Okay, so I'm just gonna put the mace man there. Might as well corner the market for, uh... Might as well corner the market for Feria. Even though he's got a pretty substantial land benefit. He actually doesn't have a whole lot to suffer. My mind is infinite, yeah, but your capabilities are limited. Okay, so we get a falcon dive. Does he just have nothing? He kind of doesn't seem to have anything. No. Move there. Let's see, I wonder if you can steal land from somebody else in this game. Probably not. But it'd be cool if you could. Well, that's mean. Oh, wait, no, never mind. Your death comes from the desert. Right out. Okay, so Falcon Dive, kill the Slaughtering Shadow. Let's see, I've got quite a lot, so I'm gonna move there. I'm gonna get a forest up in there. Summon the Verdant Forest, forest, eh. And get a Rebel Slinger right there so we can keep getting mana. Anything else? I'll do the Elderwood Embrace on the next round. And damage all of your enemies' pathetic creatures. I... That's not... That's not fair. Well, Yak... Oh. You can now either draw a card or gain one fairy instead of making lands. Oh, cool. I'm gonna slap the Yak there. As insurance, extra mana gain. Do we draw a card? I have no Feria. So I'm gonna put a forest there. I don't want to do Elderwood Embrace or anything of the sort. Hmm. He's not going for my yak. We got a lot of these though. Well, we have a Deepwood Grizzly. Now. As silly as this sounds, I'm gonna get a buff yak and kill the dude. And what else do I do? No, no, no. I should keep doing forests. I'm just gonna line forests along kind of his area so I can summon dudes to attack him shortly. Spirit of the ne Nexus. Reduces his master to one life. Oh. Okay, so has last words. Yeah, we already figured that one out pretty quick. Owie. No, oh, never mind. Falcon dive. Yeah. Let's see, do I spawn that there? Alternatively, I'm going to do that. I could spawn the Grizzly there. I'm just thinking if I have lands next to a lot of these, I can summon dudes in. I guess I'm gonna plonk it there. It'll take some damage, but it'll forestall his dude's advance. Because his dude is is scary. Taunt last words, gain some life. Cool. I'm gonna just put the Imperial Guard there. And let's draw some cards. I need some options here. Unfortunately, I can't get another one. But yeah, if he moves forward, I'll just move this guy over here next round. Nope, never mind. Ah! He's threatening my yak! Okay, I'm gonna drop the Caretaker. And we're going to buff that yak. That is a buff yak. Don't even... Don't, don't even question it. I'm going to surround him in, in stuff. And let's keep drawing cards for a bit. Hey, golem. That's exactly what I need.
Okay, charge three. I'm assuming charge three lets it move further. I've got another yak. Yak attack. No, I'll probably drop that there. Probably could have actually dropped it there, now that I'm thinking about it. And I'll be able to get the Therium Golem next round. So let's let's keep drawing some extra cards here as insurance. I, I don't have as much coverage as I'm looking for, but that's okay. Yeah, figured he'd hit me. Ow. Well, we do have the Battle Yak. Okay, I'm going to move that yak there. That yak there. I'm going to kill him with yaks! There's something poetic about that. Okay, last words. Deal some damage to the opponent. Uh, let's see. What else do I do? Gain some mana. Eh, draw some more cards. I was kind of hoping I could get, like, a falcon dive. Because if I can just falcon dive uh, the boss, that'd work better. Where is he going? 8C, costs one less for each creature you have summoned. Okay. So, Yak Attack. Which wrecks his face. And then I just want to summon something durable enough that can take him out on the next turn. Which is pretty much that. And then, I guess I'll get one extra mana, just in case I have to summon another, like, Therian Golem in the next round. I guess I'll be fine. I get four mana. Mana? Faria. The turn. Yep. He can't stop me, but he can stop my yak. No. You may try and stop me. But my random garbage is... Well, I guess I just win with this. Easy mode. Okay. That's not bad. We get another farm boy and another falcon dive. Village elder and an imperial guard. Uh, what's that? Sullen Horsemaster. Give another creature three charge this turn. Yeah, a lot of basic stuff. We also get Bloom Sprite. Adds a random green card to your hand, costs three, three less. Another Tiki Caretaker. When you summon a creature with five life or more, give it plus one, one. So, if I really want to go green and, you know, just... Oh, what was the... What was the term? Is it Jimmy? Uh, Timmy. T I think it's a Timmy deck? Uh... My brother was explaining this to me, but if you want to just go big green creatures, this game seems to really, really just, like, allow that sort of thing. I kind of like that. So dash two, if you control a creature with five life or more, cost less, seed sower, create a random land. Cool. Yeah, I I mean, it really does seem like it's pushing me towards being a, a, a green deck user, at least initially. We'll see, though. I... There's there's a whole new faction with Mecha, and like I might have to go that direction, for sure. Okay, congratulations, you've unlocked the main inter interface in Feria. Let's start by creating your first deck. New deck. This is a formula. Use it to create a deck in a few seconds. Green starter, sure. I'll mess with it later. Okay, let's go try your new deck in a game. Yeah, sure. Okay, so adventure. Missions. So yeah, there's a campaign mode-ish. So welcome to missions. Complete them to level up and gain more cards. Complete three missions. Training mission pack. Well, here we go. We'll just do green starter. I'll mess around with this. I think years ago they actually sent me an unlock thing that actually unlocks like the almost all of the stuff for the base game. I might see if I can do that. I don't know. Uh, we will see. Part of it is I'm playing this kind of parallel to Shell, and she has a lot more experience with me, but the developers give me cool things. Anyway, you play second, uh, so I can mulligan if I want. Let's mulligan both of these. We want the Bloom Sprite, though. That's a good setup. Sort of. Okay, so what's with the three? Explore. Create... Create a prairie. Okay. That's awesome. So I'm assuming he just wants three different lands. And that's his... 
his limitation. Yeah. And we can't do the Bloom Sprite until the next turn. Well, that's okay. Behold my structure. Oh. I appreciate the fact that the bots actually have less health than I do. So give the first creature you summon each turn plus one one. Oh no. That thing needs to die. Okay, my turn. Last words, draw a card. Well, that's good. I'm just gonna slowly work my way up there. Let's grab a uh, village elder. And I can also get the Bloom Sprite. And while I could Falcon Dive it, I don't know if it's a good idea yet. Okay, Ancient Boar, if you control a creature with five life or more, it's cheaper. Hmm. I mean, pretty much I want to bum rush that guy. N no, we want to probably do forest. I was thinking, like, I could get a mountain, but I don't know if that's really that useful. I'll just get the ancient boar. Early, we can send it after the prairie yak or something. Actually, no, 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 no. We're going to... Drop two regular lands there. Give a random friendly creature 2-4. Eesh. Okay. So I'm going to do that there. And we're going to buff the Ancient Boar. So dash two. So I don't charge. Moves up to three spaces in a straight line. Oh, right. Can't turn. That makes perfect sense, actually. Well, get him, village elder. I believe in you. So what does Dash do? When summon, move this creature up to two spaces in a straight line. Oh, got it. It looks like he's yak charging me. No, village elder. Never will I do. Weep for him. I'm getting nothing but weenie cards here. It's bad. Alright. Well, we gotta kill that Tiki Totem. Nothing else matters. And let's pop him down. Pop the farm boy down in the back. I could falcon dive some of these. Ooh, those Elderwood Hermits are a bit spooky. I'd like to kill the Yak before... Do we start killing any of those hermits? What do we get? Okay. As silly as this sounds, I'm actually going to use the farm boy to kill the yak. Okay, there we go. New s Ooh, ancient beast master. We want to leave that in the back. For sure. Uh, let's see. So, I guess let's start with the uh, cylind warrior. I'll just put it here. Get some extra and on the next one. Do we draw a card? I'm going to get five Faria. Sorry. Yeah, let's draw some more, some more cards. And we'll definitely chuck down the Ancient Beast Lord where we can. Ow. Ah. That's bad. Seed Sower. Okay. Yeah, that is, that is bad. I'm gonna leave that there. I mean, I can take a little bit of damage. Because I could kill that one, but it would make that Elderwood hurt. <laughs> That's a bit of a pickle, actually. Oh, he might go for the Ancient Beastmaster instead. Uh, you know what? Worthy sacrifice, I guess. So make it so he can't summon. Do I draw more cards? Draw another card. 
Devinder and Force. Nothing terribly exciting. Well, if this guy lives, then we can drop somebody down in the next round or something. Going for me. Okay. So obviously this is getting a little bit picklier. Right, can't drop him. Gonna drop that there, so what do I have? Because I could sack him. Okay, ooh, Elderwood and Brace. That's a good one. So we can upgrade, we can upgrade the boar. We can get the steam enforcer there. Move him up. And I don't have any more. I'd like to get another ancient beast master before I go for the other thing. Oh, looks like she might charge for the Beastmaster. Or hit me. No, nope, hit me again. Okay. So, I'm going to kill this one. Buffs this one up, but that's fine. Sack it, we're okay. And I can just... Drop that guy there. That one's going to do a bit of damage, but I'll kill him on the next round. Yeah, we're good. Dicier than I'd like to be. Those those, uh, those buffer hermits are actually <laughs> kind of nasty. And also, I, I got to remember to have somewhat of a defensive line in the future. Because I didn't, and I should have. I was too slow in trying to squeak my way forwards. Wasn't a good plan, but I mean it worked out. Oh yeah, I should probably mention over the course of this series, I'm gonna make a lot of mistakes and a lot of, like, bad death touch. Okay. That is a Snow White reference. I love it. New card. You can see how to add it to your deck. Uh, but yeah, so I'm gonna be making a bunch of mistakes here. Please don't yell at me. It's not gonna make me listen. Click a card to remove it from your deck. So let's get rid of the Sullen Warrior and favor the Queen's Assassin. I... I don't really appreciate it when people are like, I can't handle all of these mistakes, and like complaining about it in the comments, because like, it just, it just isn't fun. Okay, so do we keep going after Krog? Actually, you know what? This is a pretty good stopping point for the first episode. I got a good feel for the game, and we're definitely in, we're still kind of in tutorial training land. Uh, but as far as like, you know, online CCGs goes, this seems pretty charming. I love the art style. I love the fact that it is built on, like, a grid, so moving characters around actually matters. Uh, music seems nice, and yeah, I appreciate the fact that it's not uh, yelling at me to, like, buy stuff left and right. Which, you know, is kind of one of my... Actually, let's take a look at the shop before we, you know, judge too much. Cosmetics, giving your card shiny borders, letting you personalize your setup and your profile. Okay, so literally, it's, it is just purely cosmetic stuff. Mythic versions of cards. Also buy items directly in the shop. Okay. Oh, and it even looks like you can earn stuff through direct gameplay. Maybe. It looks really expensive. But that's not the end of the world. Card backs. Oh, they look nice. Little avatars. Little sets. Oh, that's cute. Got orbs. And wells. What is the conversion rate? Oh, wow. That's actually really cheap. I mean, kind of depends on your perspective, but I was expecting 750 gems to just be $7.50 or like five bucks, but a dollar? That's, it's not terrible. It doesn't net you much. I guess it gets you like a well and stuff, but all things considered, not terrible. Who is this guy? Oh, so he just gets you the, uh, the gold shard stuff. So there's also chests. Level up or complete daily quest to gain more chests. Oh, you know what? I have a couple of chests lying around. Let's go grab that at the very least. Wow, that was kind of immediate. I hit the verify button and it's just like, bam, there you go. All right, well, I got two chests to open up. Let's take a look at them. I don't know why it's down low, but 
All right. Well, let's open up the other one. I really wish I could see these. I why why is it like this? <laughs> I actually don't know. But that's okay. Uh, let's see what else is there. Daily quests. You have no daily quests left. Check again tomorrow. Cool. So yeah, pretty basic TCG. I like I like the style. I like where they're going with it. And it really does remind me of Magic the Gathering, but before it sucked up all of my money and got really, really complicated. Uh, anyway, so, yeah, if you guys like this episode in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps more than you know, and if you want to see more, I'm gonna, I have to charge all the way up to level 5 before I get co-op mode, and then I'm gonna start playing with Shell, uh, and we might do some mostly cooperative stuff, because I'm not a big competitive person. I like comp stomping, I like working with other people. I don't really like competing against other people, especially because everybody else knows the game better than I do. And, you know, just makes things less fun for me. I don't know. Anyway, so I guess I'll see you guys next time. And as always, thanks for watching.